you know, it's a little bit of fun, but I found it pretty frustrating, to be quite honest. Um, Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Ruger 1022 Air Rifle by Umarex. So first of all I'll show you what it comes with. Naturally we've got an instruction manual here and we've got a heap of promotional information from Umarex. So if you're into the uh, Ruger 1022 this is uh, something that you can get obviously on a Category A license uh, here in Australia being a um, air rifle. Now, let me uh, just give you a run by of it. And you can see that it pretty much mimics the uh, Ruger Sporter Synthetic 1022. Everything is in the right place. I mean, we've got the barrel band there, the open sights are the, just the same as what you'll find on the 1022. Uh, the receiver, the same size, trigger, everything like that. So the uh, sights here are the uh, fold down sights, just like you find on the original uh, 1022. Now the barrel on it is 16 and a half inches in length. The only thing that I put on that's uh, not original is just the uh, top rail here so that I could put on a red dot if I want. Now um, it doesn't come with that, but being the standard size receiver, uh, you can put that sort of stuff on top, you know, if you wish. Now with the magazine, I'll show that to you. Obviously they've tried to keep it as uh, close to the original uh, Ruger Rotary magazine as possible. But you've got these basically uh, plastic inserts. You just pull back and you can lift them out. So they're 10 shot and you can get them for like, you know, two for like $12.95. So if you did want to have a couple spare, you know, then obviously you can do it. So the way that it um, functions with this trigger, um, now you can use it in uh, semi-auto mode, okay? So in other words, just each time that you uh, depress the trigger, uh, you know, it will fire. Or you can basically use it like a uh, bolt repeater in the sense that you can charge it each time and the trigger will be a lot lighter. So if you just use it as standard, um, you know, pull the trigger each time, then obviously it's gonna come in pretty heavy at about like 12 pound trigger pull. So it's very, very heavy. But if you uh, like pre-charge it, okay, so just pull back, go forward. The trigger pull now is only about four pound. Okay, so it's a lot, a lot lighter. Now, uh, the stock here, synthetic stock, the grip uh, texture is all the same as the original. At the back here, it's a little bit different because it is powered by uh, two uh, 12 um, gram CO2 canisters, okay? Price-wise, guys, look, not much, you know, $269 uh, for one of these. So, you know, is it uh, worth it? Is it a bit of fun? Let's get out on the farm now and uh, put that to the test. Okay, so what I'll start with is I've got these Diana Match 177 pellets. So I don't have a great selection, to be honest, but I just want to put something through this just to see how it goes. All right, so we've got a target down there just at 10 metres. So I have no idea where this is shooting. I'll just uh, give it my best shot. So yeah, there's virtually no noise and obviously, you know, there's no recoil with it at all. So, you know, uh, trigger's obviously a little bit heavy as I said in the intro, but you know, you can just charge it each time there just to uh, lighten it a little bit. But I just thought I'd prefer to use it just on semi-auto and just have a bit of fun.
All right, so look at that, guys. You know, we're pretty much within an inch most of the main shots there. Look, that's just using it with the heavier trigger in the semi-auto mode. And obviously, uh, you know, just from the shoulder unsupported. But we're shooting a little bit high. But at least I know now, you know, where the uh, actual shots are going. So we can have a little bit more fun with the air rifle. All right, guys. So loading in the magazine, a little bit finicky. You can do it two ways. If you want, you can just put the pellets in like so. And then, you know, just keep turning and load that way. Well, probably the easy way is you just pull back on the tab, pull the whole thing out, and then load from there. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up my final thoughts on the uh, Umrex Ruger 1022. Look, it is really a kid's toy. This, um, you know, it's a little bit of fun, but I found it pretty frustrating, to be quite honest. Um, you know, it's frustrating loading that magazine. Um, yeah, and then if it's off alignment and the whole system here, you know, jams. Yeah, it's, it's not for me, guys, but uh, maybe some of you guys uh, might be interested in it. But, um, you know, the accuracy out of it isn't too bad. You know, it's, it's definitely not uh, too bad at all. But uh, I just find it, you know, annoying having to load that magazine, having to load air canisters in. Um, you know, for, it's just not for me. However, you've seen how it works and performs, so maybe it is for you. So we'll leave the review at that, guys. Hope you really enjoyed watching it. So till next time, we'll catch you then.